What's going on today, YouTube? It's your boy CP, and today we're back with a brand new video. Today we're going to be playing Never Have I Ever. This is part two of Never Have I Ever. Last time I did Valentine's Day edition. This time I'm doing a football player's edition. So basically, it's stuff that just about every football player has gone through, or most football players have gone through. So I got a list right here on my phone, so I'm just going to get into it. So first things first, um, by the way, if I have done something, I'm going to take us to war. You guys, I promise you, it's just what I can really show you in this one as well. But it's just water. So it's semi of a drinking game, but I'm drinking water because I'm under the general responsibility. But anyway, the um, first question is never have I ever been late to practice or been. I've been late to practice only because. Let me take a step. Only because I had to stay after school just so I could like make up some work or get my grade up. But, um, see, my coach, he was like, look, if you're making up schoolwork or something like that, then you're not going to get penalized for it. He's not going to say anything about it. He's just going to be like, just do what you need to do and get here. Once you're done, get here as soon as possible. So, yeah, I got to do it. But if you got, like, detention or you were just blatantly late because of whatever reason, you're going to be running a high hill for a crap. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. You're going to be on a hill or you're going to be doing up-downs. You're going to do some killer workout. So that's the way my coach was. I don't, I don't know how other coaches work. I know some coaches, they like, if you're late, period, they don't care what you're doing. They don't care if it's school related or what. Like, they're going to like, get on the hill. So I, I hate doing hills. Next we got, um, never have I ever gotten injured and missed multiple games. I have not. However, I have been injured a few times, um, but they were all minor, I was able to get back in the game, like, either the following play or the following game, depending on how bad it was. My sophomore year, I did, um, I don't want to say I suffered, but I did get injured in a JV game, and um, I, I don't know what I did to my ankle. I don't know if I sprained it, twisted it. It's like, I don't know, but all I heard was hot, and, like, for a hot second, I felt like I couldn't get up. I was like, hey, perhaps, because I'm, I feel like I told, told you guys about this, but I'm going to just give you a little quick recap. I was playing receiver. My teammate was a tight end, and um, our routes kind of ended up crashing together in deep down the field because I was running across from one side. Actually, no, I'll take that back. I wasn't across. It was a crossing route from the left side going to the right, and then I think he was running, like, a uh, seam or a fade or something. But um, basically what ended up happening was um, it was two defenders. It was me. In the tight end. The tight end, he's like, I want to say 6'1 for two. And like, he, he had to be about, I want to say, 160, 180. And then the defenders, they were, those guys had to be like 5'9 ish, give or take. But anyway, so basically, so we all went up for the pass because I, I don't know if my quarterback threw it to me. I don't know if he threw it to my tight end. I don't know if he just trying to get rid of it and just throw it off his back foot or whatever happened. But to the day, I still don't know. But all of us, defenders, tight end, me, all went out for the football. Somehow, I ended up underneath everybody else. And then what ended up happening was my teammate, a big one of the defenders, landed right on my ankle. And all I heard was like, this loud pop. And like the first, the first thing I thought, I was like, oh my god, I just break my leg or did I break my ankle or something? Did, did I break something? So, like, I'm laying on the ground, and um, when the defender, he was like, you good, you good, you good, which I was actually kind of surprised, because normally, like, but, um, the other team does, like, they'll walk off and take a name, but they won't actually, like, see if the player is okay. But, no, this guy, I never called his name, I don't even remember his jersey number, but, dude, like, he um, tapped my chest a little bit, he was like, you good, you good, I was like, I was like, I need a trainer, I need a trainer, I need a trainer. And then, um, the tra trainer came out, my head Coach came out, he started taking my helmet off. He was like, what happened? I said, he fell on my ankle. And I, I was just in pain for, for a hot minute. And, like, I know my mom was just, she, I knew she was going to hurt for her life. And I was like, man. But I was able to get up. And they told me, like, oh, I'll be good in about, like, a week or two. But um, luckily, I was able to play the following game. I was, I was done for the rest of that game. Even though it was, like, fourth quarter, like, two or three minutes left there. And so I just had to basically sit there and watch. But... Yeah, later, that, that following week, I was still kind of feeling a little bit of pain, but I just took some painkillers, and right before the next game, it was, it was over. Like, I didn't even feel it. 
Oh, yeah, I completely forgot that I had her mind pulled in. It was just one of those mind things. So I have gotten injured, but I've never had to miss a game. And on my senior year, I kind of got banged up a few times, but I, I went back in. Um, I'm not going to lie to you guys. There, there was like two times where like I just needed a breather at one point. So like the, I told myself, okay, next time you get the ground, just lay there and try, try to act like you're so, um, I feel like everybody's like that. Well, I mean, not everybody, but I feel like a football, every football player is like that at some point. I just, I need to do that. I feel like my friend Justin, he's done it too. He played football with me, and he told me, he's like, yeah, there's times, like, I just need a hot set, so, like, I need to chill for a second. So, he's like, I'm hurt. Right. <laughs> but, um, even the tra- trainer was cool, blah, 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 and he was like, trainer, like, you know, like, oh, good, you just need this great fight. Like, yeah. Because um, actually, my last game, my senior year, actually, that actually happened. And um, I was like, all right, I'm just going to take a dive. And once I hit the ground, like, I'm acting like I'm hurt. And like, what I did was, like, I, I did a little limp, and then um, he stretched me out, and then um, he was like, You good? I was like, I'm going to be completely honest with you. I just needed a break. <laughs> so um, he laughed, he was like, You good? It happened. So I was like, Yeah. But moving on. Never have I ever skipped a game. This is actually, this is actually kind of a funny story. I have not skipped a game, but my junior year, JV game I had, actually not take it back, it was a varsity game because it was a Friday night. I had almost decided not to go because I was, for some reason, I was tired. Actually not take it, it was JV game. It was JV, my bad. But what ended up happening was I told myself, like, I'm, I'm so tired. I don't know why I was tired, but I feel like I want to just go home and go to sleep. So I told my mom, I was like, uh, I just want to come home. Like, I don't even want to go to this game now. Cause, like, for some reason, I was just feeling exhausted. And she was like, oh, you sure? Because, like, this could affect you starting next year as a senior. And I thought about it. I was like, you know what? I'm just going to go. That, that same game later on that day, like, I get onto the field, I just got this good feeling. I was like, oh, my God, like, I feel great now. Like, some, like I don't know what got into me, but I just felt great. I felt like we had a good opportunity to win. I want to say late second quarter, score kickoff, turn touchdown. It's the first touch in my, my career. And the uh, team was hyping me up. I, that was probably the greatest field in the world, to score the first touchdown. So, yeah, I'm glad I did not skip that game. But next we got Never have I ever gotten penalized in a game. Yeah, I have. I remember sophomore year. We I forgot who we were playing, but we were playing this one team and they're like they were terrible at South Carolina. So what we did, we got crafty with them and uh, we kept home Wildcat and we kept going jet sweeps. So if, Jeff, if you're watching this, you know exactly which game I'm talking about. So, I went to block the corner. I had this perfect block. Uh, the, run, the running back or A back, whatever position, but he had like this little motion, came across, got the ball, and just runs right past me. Touchdown. Easy. And then, like, I like I chased down Jeff. I, I was like, yeah, bro, yeah, bro. And then, like, I turned around looking, and they're like, there's a flag. I was like, flag for what? And then it was like, hold it. Offense number 88. I was like, bro, are you serious? And I didn't even hold him because, like, the next day in film, my coach even said to me, he said, I don't even think you held him. I just think that was a really good block, and the ref just couldn't believe it. <laughs> bro, that made me so mad that day. Then later on in that same game, that ran the exact same play, and, like, I did, I this is what I did. I blocked him, but I had my arms out like this. I was like, look, I'm not, I'm not holding him. So, like, I push him back, push him back, push him back, and we get, get a huge game. Hold it. Offense number 88. I looked at the ref. I'm like, bruh, are you blind? I was I was so upset, man. Like, that, that was probably one of the most irritating moments of my life. Just getting flagged for holding, you know. So you have your hands out like this. Just, you can't hold. I, I don't know what it was, but dude, really, he had it out for me. He was like, nah, they can't score. I got this flag. But the thing is, though, he was, he was on my side, so it was like, he was probably, I was probably the only person he could really call him on, because everybody else was like too far away to actually see if he held or not. 
So if they got from the sideline, those flags, that means it was on one of the receivers. But what was crazy, like, I've never, ever got a penalty for pass interference. And when I say that, I mean, like, the times are, I've been had, like, people that try to push me off my route or done this illegal contact. There have been times I've been swiped in the face mask and my neck would twist all crazy ways. Never seen a flag. I was like, bro, there's so many. I remember one time I had to play punter. And the dude, like, he, this is what he did. So I punt, punt the ball. And then, like, the um defender, he just runs to me. And I was, like, looking for a flag. I'm like, uh, running into the punter? Five yards? He, that's going to look at me and be like, he didn't hurt you. Like, it doesn't matter if I got hurt or not. Like, it's still a penalty. But they ain't care. They ain't care. Next, we got got injected from the game. No, nah, never got injected. I mean, I have gotten into like a mini scuffle. Like, we was going, like, we even started throwing punches. But one time, dude got in my face. I remember this game. And, like, I remember dude's jersey number. I remember his face. I, I swear to you, if I saw him today, like, I would know, like, yo. I owe you one, you owe me two. But this is what happened. Um, there was a run play. I went to block him. And then he was like, oh, 88, you soft. I was like, like, I gave him his look like, all right, bet. So the next play, I ran, I ran full speed, had a nice little block on it, and it kind of shot him. And he, he clearly didn't like it because, like, he was like, oh, shit, he got that power. But then he was like, 88, don't play that. And I was like, I told him to shut up. Then he got in my face. He was like, oh, what'd you say? What'd you say? What'd you say? And um, he was saying some words. I said some words. And then um, I, I eventually walked away because my teammate was like, Cam, chill, chill, chill. So like, I then coach on base. He didn't bench me, but he was like, yo, you need to chill. And then, like, he took me out for like a good quarter and a half. And I was just like, man. But what's crazy is that same kid who got into it with me, he played the entire game. And like I was like, bro, this, this ain't right. He, he started with me. And I told the rep, I was like, yo, you got to watch him because he, he talked a lot of smack. But it is what it is. Next, never have I ever threw my helmet. Oh, yeah, I'm done with my helmet. At least twice. First time we had lost because we had fumbled the ball and they took it back and then they got a touchdown and then we lost. Mind you, this was like the worst team in the state. This was against um crap, what was the name of the school? Yeah. It was against Dickinson. Yeah, and I was heated after that game. Because mind you, at the time I was with my ex and that was like the first game that um she had went to as my girlfriend. And like I, I was, I was embarrassed. I was frustrated. I was like, "Bro, we just lost to like the worst team in the state." I was here. I threw my helmet to the ground. Like I started to walk off. Then um, Coach Bad, he grabbed me and he was like, "Yo, you can't be doing that." And he gave me a talk. And he, he kind of calmed me down, but I was, I was still upset. So yeah, I, I don't know. I feel like there's all, everybody who plays football at some point throws their helmet on the ground because they're frustrated. Next, never ever drop an easy pass. Nope. Like, I'm not, I'm not even playing with you. Like, nah. Like, anything, if I've ever been on the field and I'm they throw me the ball and I'm, like, wide open, I'm not dropping that thing. I'm, I'm doing everything in my power to catch it. Like, no cap. <laughs> Actually, but that does remind my senior year. I did run, like, a bad route because, like, it was this weird route that Coach, like, he, he wanted us to run. Why? Well, I don't know. It was kind of weird, but he wanted to play action. But anyway, we tight end. He ran a crossing route. I ran this thing. It kind of looked like a sideways view. So basically, it kind of looked like this. So basically, they kind of intersected. My tight end tips the ball in the air. My sideline, while the ball's in the air, that's like, oh, because he dropped it. I come up underneath and catch it. I was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> Everybody was like, you know, and like, my only regret is that I did not score on it because this is what happened. I had slipped while at the same time still bobbing the ball because I was like, bro, I cannot drop this. Like, <laughs> so I brought it in. Dude, like, he kind of, he took my leg and kind of 
threw me off my balance, but I was still able to keep trying to run. And like, I got a few extra yards and then um, I got tackled. I was like, man, shit, it's not bad. But I didn't see the dude who got me until like it was too late. If I'd saw him, I probably could have made a move. And then, Cause like, I think it was the safety or the corner from the other side. If I hadn't beaten one of them, I'll touch down easily. But next, um, never ever forgotten to play. Oh yeah, I forgot to play many times. But see, my saving grace is that even if I forgot to play completely, I always remembered the number, or I always knew if it was a run or a pass. So I knew if it was something like the 20s, 30s, or 40s, I knew it was a run, so I didn't have to worry about that. So, but if it was something in the 80s or 90s, I was just like, okay, if I remember that number, I can remember it throughout. So if it was 88, I knew I was running the post. If it was 93, I knew I was running it out. If it was 92, slant, 91, um, hitch, 99, fade. So that's, I, I didn't really have to remember the actual name of the play. I just needed to remember the number and that I knew that corresponded to each route. So it wasn't even that difficult from that. Okay, um, never ever, ever called the wrong play. Okay, so th this is a little bit more so for quarterbacks. However, I have been told to call a play one time because um, they were, we were doing Wildcat and like he was just like, yo, I need you to get in run block. Um, we're doing, I think it was like Wildcat 9 or Play 9 or something like that. But he was like, yeah, get in there. And I was like, all right, bet. So he was like, oh, look. So I get in the huddle. They're like, what's the play? What's the play? What's the play? And for like a hot second, I forgot what it was, but then I was like, oh wait, play Wildcat 9, I think that's what it was called. And it's like, all right, all right. And then um, the play just had me blocking the corner. So I was like, all right, I just gotta block the dude that's standing five feet away from me. So yeah, I've never called the wrong play, but I have had to call the play. All right, next, never ever played a game on both sides of the ball. Oh, absolutely. I take a huge step of that. <laughs> yeah, I've had to play offense and defense at times. I've also had to play special teams. Because um, I, I knew how to play kicker, so there are times where I was like, yo, we need you to kick. Even my senior year, the original kicker got hurt, so it was like, Cam, we need you to kick. I was like, yeah, it's been a minute, but I'll do my best. But it actually turned out well. Like my first kickoff, they, they were trying to do an onside kick, and I'm, I kind of messed it up because. See, since it's been so long since I did it, I forgot that like you gotta keep your head down when you kick in, and like you don't look up until the ball is like in the air going. So like what I did was I looked up a little bit too early, and I kind of just whipped on it, and um, yeah, I messed up with that. My coach was telling me like, look, you gotta keep your head down the whole time. And I was like, yeah, that's my fault. So I, uh, I guess I was a little excited because like it was the first time I had to do a kickoff in a while, but I knew I had the leg for it, so. And it ended up just being like that, so I was like, all right. So, but ever since before, after that, my kid also were like, on Andre, to be honest. You can, you can ask my dad, you can ask my coach, you can ask my team. It's like, no, I got away. But, <laughs> oh my God, this, this is actually something I just told you guys, but I never ever had your girlfriend at a game. My ex from my senior year, she went to two games. But um, never ever imagined myself making a big play. Oh yeah, absolutely. I feel like you're not a real football player if you don't do that. Like, I, I even do that in the sometimes, I'm not going to lie to you. Like, I'll just be imagining myself scoring a touchdown. Or like, picking off a pass or just making a big hit. Doing whatever because I played corner, safety, a little bit of safety, um, free safety, not not strong safety, but uh, receiver, kick returner. I did a little bit of punt returner. Um, I played defensive end my freshman year. Also had to play linebacker my junior year on JV because we are so thin of guys. And, like we had plenty of corners and safeties, but we did not have any linebackers. And since I was like one of the oldest, like they were like, yeah, we need you to play linebacker. That's how I got my first pick anyway, so it all worked out. All right, last one. 
Never have I ever. This now, I feel sorry to take. Never have I ever had a signature celebration. Yes, I have. Now, granted, I didn't come up with it, but I was still associated with it. Um, so you guys, you guys already know I'm a huge Seth Ryan fan. Even when, whether he was with the Cowboys or sometimes when he's not with the Cowboys, I'm still a huge Seth Ryan fan. Anytime, any opportunity I got, I throw up the X. I had to. I had to do it for the culture. Plus, like there, there were times my team, because like I told them like, yo, I'm trying to be like Des Bryant because I haven't heard. So they, my teammates would call me like, uh, Lil Des or Des or, I was like, yeah, Cam, I see. I remember, I lost track how many times. Quan, that is my guy. He always said like, I see you, Des. He's like, don't be X, bro. <laughs> yeah. Also, my teammate Jeff, he was trying to make like a bunch of signature. Uh, Touchdown celebrations, so we do like team celebrations. So like you're trying to do like different ones for everybody. So me and him, we came up with one. It was like uh, boom, 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 boom. And then like, I went like this, he did the same thing. <laughs> he went like that, but it was crazy. But Jeff, Jeff was real cool, cool guy. So like, yeah. And um, when he had a kid return touchdown, our senior year, <laughs> um, I came up to him, cause I had the perfect block, man, cause I was playing on special teams that day. I had the perfect block that actually sprung him loose. And I went up to him and said, you're welcome. And like after we got to the sideline, um, we did that celebration. And it, it was tough. So, shout out to Jeff. Shout out to Quan. Shout out to all my teammates from 2014 to 2017. So, yeah. But I want to thank you guys for watching this video. If you enjoyed this video, make sure you leave a like. And don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Hit that little notification bell. And make sure that you tune in every single day. But I just want you guys to know that. But yeah, I post every single day, so you guys just gotta stay.